So it's pretty stable. Yes, yes. And the video is going to be extremely stable. Sure. Hi guys, on this video we're going to demonstrate a quick flight of DJI 3 Standard Edition. I'm going to be using a ground station to monitor my flight. I'm using the iPad 2 to do so. So let's go ahead and turn it on and see how it goes. First you have to turn on the radio. You turn it on first. And you have to hit this button right here once. Let it go and hit it second time. Hold it for a second. And you have to wait. The drum is getting armed, the gimbal is getting stabilized. Then we have to go back to the ground station. And find to the software. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, memorize the password, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have to go to. Can you Did increase you the brightness? Go? No, this is the maximum oh, you know, brightness. It's the sunglasses. It's the sunglasses, <laughs> yeah, I noticed that too. But I like it like that <laughs> more actually. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we go to standard, we turn it on. Now we have to go to settings and enable the Wi-Fi. Alright, so we go to... I like the way how clean the uh, remote control is. It's only pretty simple, exactly. Only gimbal, gimbal and a, a, a switch here and switch there. It doesn't have much exactly. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look here. For right now, take a look at this fancy ground station. Uh, this is a tripod, and it's called Proline. Proline is top of the line. Proline, and here we got uh, Luxa 2, a thingy that okay. is being mounted. It says safe to fly. We're connected to eight satellites. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate the gimbal a little bit. So for that, we need to go to airplane. Okay, then we go to gimbal. All right, let's get gimbal after calibration. Okay, so it's got stabilized now. And there's a touch touch screen gloves uh, that uh, Correct. Art uses here. <laughs> for, yeah, for those specific For those purposes. freezing days like today. It shows the 94% of the battery we got. Okay. On board, right? On board over yeah. there, correct. We got the live image. Got a live image, okay. The gimbal is just getting stabilized right now. So make sure we're fine, okay. Alright, let's go ahead and arm the drone. The way we arm it is... The way we arm it, we hold two sticks together and we go down. Okay. It starts spinning. It says tips ready for takeoff okay we're safe to fly we got nine gps so, all right let's get this bird up in our all right all right we're this is our height Okay, this is us right there. We can drop the gimbal a little bit, take a look at what's going on around. Is the gimbal moving independent of no, the... No, you have to move the drone, unfortunately. Ah, so you have to move the drone to move correct. the gimbal. But it does move up and down automatically. Automatically moves up N and down? Well, you can do it. Ah, here. you can do it right here. With yeah. the scrolling wheel, you go down. Okay. Here's us Here's right us. there, yep. somewhere. Here. Okay, let's start recording this. So we go to the recording. You can switch between speakers and recording. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start recording now. It records directly to the memory card. Okay, so. PKRC signal. Ah, sometimes it says that. It's fine. Okay, let's take a look. And we are recording in 4K? No, we're recording in 2.7. Ah, 2.7, right? Yes. Because probably the memory card is that big. Exactly. 4K takes. A lot of okay, do you see where you're flying from here? No. I, I mean, we can't even see where the drone is at. The drone is supposed to be over there on top by the lake on there on the right. On the lake. Right there on the right. On the right? Yep. Supposed to be. Right there. You see, I'm facing us right now. This is the light. Right there, there's the white dot. Oh, you see it? No, I do. Ah, yeah, I see it now. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's test return home and see how well it does that. So we hit return home. It says, are you sure you want to return home? You slide it. 
and it starts going back to us. Let's check out what's going on on the bottom. We can control gimbal while it's coming back. There are people walking over there, as you can see. All right, and see, you can you can see that right there. This is the drone coming back for the plane. Okay, right next to that plane right there. So. No, it's not. And that plane right there. <laughs> All right. can cancel landing and it will just stay wherever you cancel it. So let's say you want to stay right there. We're at 86 meters right now. You press cancel the landing. You say, are you sure? Yes. So the drone just stays right there. All right. So we always in position hold. Correct. Always. No matter what you so do. So no matter what you do, it's called pass hold. This is the exit. Correct. All right. So let's check out a little bit around the park, see what's going on here. We're gonna decrease our height a little bit. Turn it on right here. Okay, so the left stick uh, is the left stick always returns to the middle. What stick? Uh, the left the one. Left stick, yeah. No, you have to return home. Works. No, no, no. This stick is always oh, yeah. in the middle. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. It always returns back. To the shot of the lake. Let's just lower our gimbal a little bit and see how it looks. Beautiful shot of the lake. Let's take a look what's, what's going on over there. It's just holding still in there. Okay, I always wanted to check out this side of the park. Never got a chance to do so. Let's try to do it now. I'm at 61 meters. Last time I climbed 380 meters, that was really high. I can hear it, but I can't see it. And by the way, we have wind today. Yes, if you look at the, outside, if, if you look at the flag right there, it shows us like 10 miles an hour, 10, 15 miles an hour. And the image is going to be super steady. Correct. This is just a live streaming, so it's not the greatest quality. It's streaming in 720 now. But when you get to see the real video from the memory card, you'll be amazed. I'm right there climbing on top. I think you're on the left side right there. I know where I'm exactly. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this lake. I'm and you see it's always it says safe to fly. So I guess no I'm in a GPS mode right now. Single. Sometimes it does that, but it's not no major because you're It's probably because of the iPad being right here. I don't know, it could be that too. Yeah, so if you put the antenna in between the iPad, right? Yep. I don't think it's because of that, it just does it once in a while. No, I think that's the interference right here, I mean, the wall. Maybe it is. And you know, the best thing to do, guys, is probably to, to bend your antenna a little bit. That way, you'll get a lot more signal. Actually, not. It's recommended on this model to have it extended all the way out. Alright. If you have the dual transmitter with two antennas, that's where it is. Ah, that's where, it. okay. Yep. Because on, uh, on my Taranis, I always bend it to the right side. To get a stronger to get a stronger signal, signal yeah. Right Don't ever point the antenna downwards because uh, all the signal gonna go into the ground, and you you only gonna be getting like 10% or whatever you wanna. That includes both the uh, drone antenna and the and the. Okay, uh, let's hit return home and try to climb up. Okay, so return home. Like and you've been flying for a long time, right? I mean, it's 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 freezing. Still seventy four percent on the yeah. battery. And you've been flying for like how we've long? We've been flying for five minutes since I've been recording, and prior to that, it's a minute, so about seven minutes, six and a half, seven minutes. So you can see the drone coming yeah. back towards us. All right. If you want, you, you can guys check out, we're gonna land it completely, see how it works. And then I'm gonna take off and make a... Oh my god, look over there for a second. What? <laughs> oh shoot. Dude, I think you found the wrong place to to fly. Exactly, pick up the speed. Right. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> but just to... Just to clarify, we are flying at the designated area for the 
drone flying. Yes. Yeah, so so it's that guy who entered our air airspace and uh, I guess when he violated our he, he violated our airspace, airspace. exactly. Yeah. Dude, I think it's supposed to come down a bit faster because, if, for example, if your battery is dying, then uh, that it, it, kind of descent speed is kind of no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. No, but I mean, like. If your battery is dying and you want oh, to land really soon... Oh, 30% of the battery is going to warn you. 30% you still can make back and forth. Alright. Alright. Okay, so it's landed now. Oh! Shoot, almost. So you do. Just turn <laughs> off. Alright. Ah, so your stick could be lowered all the way down. Correct. So it's not always pointed yeah, in like the middle. Yeah, but like you roll it all the way down, that shut off, shuts off the motors. Uh -huh. Okay, so right. you go back right there. Ah. You're going to arm it again. Okay. I took over the control of the... Of the right aircraft. Down. Correct. But it's still in position hold. Correct. I, I, you can let it go at okay. any second. So it's always in position hold, it's basically. Always, no matter what you do, it's always in a position hold. Let's take a picture of us from this angle. Let's go a little bit this way. Hold on. Okay, one, two, three, smile. The pictures are amazing quality, you guys. You know, we're going to post some of them. Right. Not like anybody can look at the pictures. Can you do a delay? Like three seconds? I'm delay? sure you can. There's a lot of settings on the camera. We're gonna make another video on that. Right. There's waypoints. There's a lot of stuff to go over. Sure. Yeah, the wind is pretty strong. I wouldn't be even flying my drone in that wind. I mean, you can see the uh, the uh, wind reference right there. Let's try to take it from another wind. Let's try to take it from another wind. So the... Uh, Let's bring it closer to us. I think if I would just take a camera and take a picture from there, it would look exactly the same <laughs> as, as what are we doing here. So, so yeah, that's live video right here. Yes. Yeah. Look at the gimbal now. No matter what you do, you can do this. Right. So yeah, before you're gonna build your own drone, just buy one of those, and it's gonna be much cheaper, and it will fly a lot better and a lot longer and much safer for everybody nothing's supposed to be falling from it okay you just let it go that's it we're gonna go yeah, again, back to the camera mode right. everything is pretty simple let's hit record okay we're recording another video now i like to get a shot like let's try to do this shot i always see people do it. like what but shot just like look at it look into the drone sure and i'm gonna start backing up all right up and up up and up that, I mean back and up, right? Yeah. yeah. But I don't think it's going up as, as much as you want it to. Let's see. Come Guys, yeah, really nice toy for like 500 bucks. Yes, yes. I mean, you can't really beat a toy like that. Okay, look in the camera now and then I'm gonna... There we go. Yeah, that's the best shot right there. Yeah. That's a really cool shot. So we're still practicing, but our skills are getting better. It's actually pretty safe, and it's it's pretty pretty quick drone to fly. It goes 15 meters a second. And no matter whenever you get lost or something, you know. You can always hit return home, that's a, uh -huh. that's a good thing about that. It's a very well made investment. Alright, we are 33% and we've been flying for... Uh, Total flight is supposed to provide us with that, I don't see it. I'm sure it's somewhere in the settings. 
So it's supposed to be flying 25 minutes. And it does exactly 25 minutes no matter what. All right. And at 30%, it's going to give us a warning. It's going to tell warning 30%. Mm -hmm. And from there, you still continue flying. And then at the 5%, it's going to return you home with the I think it's starting to beep already. There you go, it's giving us low battery warning. Low power warning? Yes. But it's gonna land itself automatically if... Dude, it's not gonna come back to home if the battery is low. It will. I think it's just gonna land itself. No, it's gonna say, okay, come back home. You, you made it like in, into the settings or... Uh, no, it's, it's by default. I was thinking the default is basically... I'm just circling your own. That's right. Okay, let's hit return home, climb up a little bit. Is it climbing itself or is it... No, I'm climbing okay. myself. So let's do the return home. Slide to return. Is it coming? Yes, it's landing. Low power warning again, 26%. Correct. Drone is landing. You know it's landing into one of those wet grass, so can you bring it closer? Let's cancel that. We cancelled it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bring it closer to the... Uh, yep. To us. Dude, but we already at 24%. That's fine. Yeah, none of my drones can fly for such a long time. Even if I gonna be like putting the best of the stuff. <laughs> because my gimbal alone weighs a ton. A gimbal, a battery weighs a ton. So a couple more pictures while we're in here. There's a lot of settings on this thing. Lots and lots. Yeah. Waypoints like this. Dude, my fingers are frozen already, dude. It's, it's, it's pretty cold in Chicago. Yeah. And it's still winter, still February. Yep. Tomorrow we're supposed to have a snow blizzard. Yeah. Like usual, right? Like usual. Alright guys, thanks for watching the Yep, thanks so much. Have a good day.